Hello beautiful being, welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. It's your girl Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life Apothecary. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I am filled with energy you guys because I spent all day yesterday relaxing and spending time with my dogs and my chickens. So I've got nothing but time and I've got nothing but energy and good magic and juju to share. So having said that, I'm going to do things a little differently than I normally do. I chose three different intention oils from my apothecary. These are my shining stars that most people love and most people need and most people are using, if not daily, then every new or full moon, depending on what their ritual practices are, but they're here for you. If you need one of these oils, by all means, they're gonna be available within the apothecary for you to shop and for you to shine. However, allow yourself to gravitate towards which oil you feel called to. But in addition to that, I'm going to allow my intuition to speak to me, to speak to you, to see what other magical spells or ma magical intentions or magical wishes that spirit is going to offer to you in this pick a potion reading. So not only are you going to be receiving the magic of each of the intention oils, but you're gonna receive additional magic to add on to that as well as a reading, which I just feel so awesome because that's three different layers of magical things that you can take away from this reading with me today. So the first oil that we have here is the third eye strengthening oil. I totally forgot which <laughs> I totally forgot which oils I chose. And when I see them, I always smile because I think back on the times when I've used them and why I use them. So third eye strengthening oil is for psychic vision, intuition, mental clarity, and higher raising your vibration higher. This is an oil that you can use to anoint your third eye, um, your third eye uh, chakra point, your crown chakra, as well as using to um, anoint candles, especially higher wisdom candles, candles that bring out your psychic um, energies, your psychic vibrations. This is also an awesome oil if you are a highly sensitive person and you are vulnerable to the energies of the environment around you if you are quick and you know to be emotionally triggered by certain things and separate you need help sometimes kind of separating yourself from your energy and the energy of other people especially if you're a spiritual worker or especially if you especially if you work in environments with a lot of people coming through like customer service or on the phone with different people or collaborating with certain people and this is an awesome oil for my intuitive or my, uh, my creatives that are out there that are constantly creating content or creating art and such. And what I don't know if you guys can see this, but look at how the herbs in the bottle, I'm sorry, I just tossed that. I don't know if you guys can see this, but the herbs in the bottle are all kind of circulating. I don't know if it's gonna allow you to see this. My camera, I've dropped it so many times, guys. It's so frustrating, but they're all just kind of floating at the top, but just upright like this. This is showing you the energy of this bottle is literally designed to help create um, con uh, contact you, connect you to the divine, and act as a portal for protection, but also information sharing. So this oil is very, very powerful. You can also use it to anoint the soles of your feet before you walk out of the house. Um, and start your day. The second option is the Pluto Death and Transformation Oil. This oil is always sold out. <laughs> it is always sold out since the very beginning. It is a very powerful, intense oil that you can use in order to usher in major changes within your life, especially areas that have been stagnant and congested for way too long. A little drop of this oil will do. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see this, but the herbs are resting at the bottom versus the third eye strengthening oil. The, a lot of the herbs are floating like in the top portion of the bottle, standing up straight because literally the energy is pulled. It's meant to pull the energy up and out and act as like a copper wire, again, between you and the divine. With the Pluto death and transition oil, this is when there are major transitions going in your life or you are trying to entice or trying to attract or tr or you need help with major transitions going on in your life. This is there to strengthen the masculine aspect sides within yourself and also the emotional aspects, the feminine sides within yourself to make them bond and work really well together and ease up any powerful transition and transformation. I love this oil. This can be used usually on the wrist it can be used on the um the inside of the arm it can also be used right here in the center um uh, solar plexus type of energy it'll really help to 
build build you up um if there's something that's again really stubborn within your life someone or something is just totally resisting working with you or collaborating with you or there you have a hard time mixing and mingling together this will help to break through those barriers and those obstacles and help to transition and help you guys move forward in the way that's for your highest and greatest good so there's that or if you're called to this oil because you've been going through made a lot of transformation lately or if you're under an intense pluto retrograde pluto transit or pluto retrograde this is the oil for you next one is the egyptian ancestor oil this oil is for spiritual connection it's for protection it's for your sacred space it's for attraction and using it in order to connect with your own internal intuition now this oil is one of my favorites it was inspired by one of my ancestors and the ritual that I watched them go. It started off when I was living in New Orleans, the rituals and the rites that I saw. This has a lot to do with curses. This has a lot to do with manifestation, the power of the tongue, and being directed by the cosmos, being aligned by the cosmos, being connected to the cosmos. It has a lot to do with electricity, magnetism, attraction, and power. So that's that. That's all I'm going to say with the Egyptian oil. <laughs> you can use this all over your body. You can use this on your body. You can use it to anoint your tarot cards, your tools, your wands, your life, your petitions. It is very, very powerful when it comes to magnetism and attraction. So allow yourself again to once be once again be drawn to the pile, the potion that is standing out to you the most. If you want to, or if you need any of these oils, of course, they're going to be available for you in the, the apothecary, which is BahadiLife.com. And I will see what spirit has for you, not only with messages, but also additional rituals that they want to give to you right now. Moving on to Powell, or potion number, the third eye, strengthening oil potion. Okay, my love. So, if you chose the third eye strengthening oil, I don't know if you guys can see off in the corner, but I have some herbs, some honey, and some um, er yeah, herbs in different in roots that I was working with on a magic, a candle, a fixed candle for a client. So that's there. It was a special order, so don't mind that. That's just a day in the life. If you chose the third eye strengthening oil, these are the oracle cards that are put aside for you. I do not know what they are. I haven't seen them. Um, but Spirit, can you speak to us, talk to us, what is it that this group that chose the third eye, those that were drawn to the third eye, first and foremost, you guys, something is being lifted up here in your life. I just heard the word case for the cause. I've never heard of that before. Case for the cause. Let me Google that for you real quick. You guys know I, I'm always channeling case for the cause. definite meaning maybe I'll do meaning sufficient reason discharge for a cause mm. case of cause the matter the matter over which a person goes to law case of cause I'm not sure or maybe it's cause for a case. Like, maybe I got that backwards. But there's something here that... And I don't know if you guys can see this, but now... Now the herbs are all throughout the bottle. Like, they're, these, or they're just moving. They're really moving. Something here is getting pulled up within your life. You're being... Something is being lifted up. I'm also I'm getting the the energy of resurrection, or the word is reemerging. Something is reemerging, coming back, whoo, coming back to life, or coming to life. Spirit, what are you trying to say? What are you trying to share with them? Something that was dormant, dormancy. I just saw the strength card, and when I saw the strength card I heard the word dormancy um six of wands and the queen of wands here this has a lot to do it feels like higher purpose okay spirit wants you to this is so true you guys might be sensing a, a conversation a deliberation oh wow okay this makes a lot of sense you guys I don't know if you put a petition out 
or if you worked, if you were working magic, or you prayed, or you set an intention, or you had a conversation. There was something that created stirring and movement when it comes to your spirit guides, your life path, the stars, how the stars have aligned in your life and fate. And now it feels like there's this big collaboration and deliberation on your behalf on from the spiritual realms on what they're going to do for you next. It's not decided yet. It's not totally clear yet. It feels like they're trying there. There's the best outcome for you is being weighed out. And this is why it feels like a petition that's being like put a case for the cause. This is why it's, it's like there. there's a lot of, if this is not the spiritual realm, this is some type of deliberation in your own life where people or something or someone is trying to debate what is the best outcome. And I just heard the word carrier. There's something like a carrier, someone like a person, literally a person who works to deliver a message. So a, a person who hears what is being said, I'm almost hearing someone listening in to, on the door or I'm seeing someone listening into the door and then they run off in order to share information before it's revealed to you or before, so you're hearing about something before. So spirits, what I can sense for you right now and I the in addition to the third eye third eye oil what I'm sensing for you is I'm feeling that you should work on or you should use intention in order to for you to find out a secret believe it or not I feel like there's information that is under hidden that you won't gain access to or a gossip or something that's being said that you're not going to gain access to that you should be asking for right now this feels i don't want to say it's gossipy but there's something that is deliberating on your behalf you want to hear a little bit of news on this in order to help you to gain momentum like put yourself ahead of others this is almost kind of giving me someone who's gone for a job or a new position and they're waiting to hear about the position, like who else is out there, who else is in the runnings. And you have a connection, that connection is kind of listening into the meetings and then they tell you, say this, do this in order to make yourself be put before everyone else and to give you a better ranking. So that's actually what it is that I'm and this is literally has a lot to do with you guys transitioning from one thing in your life like judgment card if you're trying to transition from one area of your life to the next area of your life and you want to be in a position that is better than what you originally started off with ask for help prayers intention magic or whatever that is going to help you to position you in a position to position you in a place where you stand out or you gain information and information that's going to information and clarity into something that is going to help put you in a better position than you already are right now. It's like word of mouth. And then here we are, Queen of Swords. This has judgment written all over it. The courts, law, something is being deliberated here. Clearly something is being deliberated here. Spirit, speak to us a little bit more about that. Spirit is saying, if you wait, if you wait, sometimes you have to nudge things along or sometimes you have to, it's not about playing fair. Sometimes, sometimes it's good for you to have an advantage. Call on that. If you're waiting for, okay, take this as you will. If you're waiting for them to come to you or if you're waiting for an opportunity to put you first or something to put you first, you're going to be waiting a long time because and I don't even know if it's going to come in. This is real. It's like waiting for something like these coffins are really standing out to me. It's like um, waiting for something to come find you and come choose you. And it's just like they're I don't even know if they're looking for you. So having said that, your magic is going to be in you calling out to set them to come looking for you. 
this has a lot to do with placement, your placement in society or your positioning to put you in a role where you are chosen amongst all the others. Let's say this has to do with love and relationships or dating or anything like that. Your partner could be distracted by other things. So your relationship might be a little stagnant. Um, your friends might be distracted by other stuff that's going on and you miss them, you want to hang out with them. So this is energy that makes it so that they remember that you exist. They remember that you're there and they start to pursue you. And on top of that, I'm getting a big thing when it comes to your career, which is funny because the King of Pentacles is here. You really want to be put in a position of security, stability. Or let's say if you're going for a job, yeah, you should not be stressing out about this. The time that is that you're stressing out about it is a time that you could be mad working your magic in order to get a higher pay raise, promotion. They can give to you, but do you, yeah, this is for your own greatest good. You're going to position yourself in a, you want to work magic or work an intention or work whatever in order to make sure that you are in the position to gain the very most from this opportunity. They have the resources, but something feels like it's not looking at you right now, or they're deliberating so much that they're going to overlook you. And we don't want that. So if you're choosing this, your intuition is sensing that you are moving from one area to the next area within your life and or in a stage or in a new position. There's a, a position that is going to put you in a, in a level of advancement, but you don't want to be overlooked in this because you will be overlooked if you don't work your magic, if you don't set intention, if you don't prioritize. Let's see what Oracle cards are coming through for you interesting deep knowing <laughs> especially with the third eye you know i just heard prevail if you listen to your intuition you will prevail you will be successful you know that they have more you know that there's something there's murmurings you know take this message how it resonates you know you know clean it up I don't know. I feel, I feel like this could be you guys. This feels very purpose-led. This could be you guys cleaning up your resume, um, spiffing it up, making sure that it's tight, that it's right, and that you're tweaking it so that to match the requirements of what it is that you're going for. Same thing with your personal life. Same thing with if you're, let's say your house. Let's say you got to clean up your house or organize things in order to make room. You're getting ahead of the game for yourself to give yourself a better placement, to give yourself better. Let's say you want to buy a home. This is cleaning up your credit. So you might not be in a position. What it, The placement that you're putting yourself in, the work that you're putting in, the magic that you're putting in now is going to ultimately put you in a better position for the future. So that's really what's happening here. That's, that's what I can see. The stag here. Pride and leadership. This is you doing this for you. And this is also, you want to hang out with people who are the stag. You don't want to hang out with, you know, the, the chitter chatter of the rabbits, the squirrels, the chipmunks. You want to be walking with the stag. If that's the case, you got to clean up aspects within yourself in order to match the vibration of where it is that, of people that is that you respect and admire, because there's this energy there too. Serpent card. Yeah, knowledge and healing. This has a lot to, to me to do with. Um, you having a higher sense of purpose and knowing this in your own life. And for some of you guys, it has to do with your, your actual purpose is going to have a lot to do with you healing, being a doctor, being an, someone who analyzes, um, and going for that next level position. And the snake and the serpent has an ulterior motive. It has an, an intention behind what you can sense and what you can see. Having said that, use that for your good. Use that to position yourself in a better place. The snake or the serpent is not always bad. It's all about knowing who you are and knowing what you can do and manipulating this, the circumstances a little bit in order to get you ahead. People do that all the time. If you feel guilty about that, that's a more, that's a come to Jesus moment that you have to have with yourself and the Lord. <laughs> okay, into the thick of it, thorns, thicket of thorns. The uncertainty here, manifesting dreams, purification, and happiness. Yes. 
this has, I just see with this whole cleaning out thing and purification, you, I don't want you to be stuck in a position of uncertainty because I feel like you do sense that there's something more for you. If you allow yourself to stay in a position of anxiety, tension, and waiting for someone else to call the shots for your life, you're gonna be sitting in that position for a long time. Spirit wants you to sense the fact and intuitively know that you are being led because you can see it, you can feel it, that you're being led for something more, that you are going to be flowing into something more. So let's get on that. Let's get the ball rolling on that. We're gonna start manifesting. We're going to start building, and this is for your greatest happiness and your greatest joy. And at the very base of this reading, this is the star card. So you are really, truly being led to something higher and greater for yourself right now and for your purpose. But we want to put you in a position where you are going to shine, where you are going to be seen, and you are not going to be overlooked. Because I feel like if you didn't look at this message today you would have been overlooked and you would just be sit left sit waiting for someone and something to choose you and waiting for the next opportunity to come in. When that opportunity has your name written all over it, just do what you gotta do to finagle, to find out behind the scenes what you can do in order to advance yourself, to put yourself in the place that you are actively manifesting right now. It's more than just manifestation. When it comes to magic, I'm seeing that you shine out as a beacon of light, like you, you're going to channel Leo energy, so I can see you working with a orange or yellow candle. You could work with the Nectar of Life candle or the Bird of Paradise candle. I'm also seeing um, you working with gold flakes, pyrite crystal, or quartz, pyrite, the, the, the stone. I'm also seeing citrine for you. I'm seeing spells of enchantment, so um, affirmation and speaking into life or writing a petition of you being seen and shining out amongst all the others. You don't want to think about, okay, they have this, they have this, they have the, all of this going for them and I pale in comparison to them. No. You are going to manifest your acceptance letter. You're going to manifest your soulmate choosing you and that you stand out in a whole crowd they're going to see you, they're going to know it's you, and they're going to choose you. That's what is going to happen for you. Pure intention. I wish you all the best. Moving on to the Pluto Death Oil. Very excited to see what they chose and what messages Spirit has for them. All right, honeybees, if you chose the Pluto Death and Transformation Oil, this is your reading. I'm going to choose the, I forget what deck this is called, Lightseers, Spirit Guides, Angels, Divine, those who are going through transition and transformation right now, what do they need to hear and receive? Speak to us speak to them in a way that is clear and precise. Hmm. I just heard the song, knock three times on the ceiling if you want me. <laughs> um, I haven't heard that song in years. That is your song. Something wants to come in and give you an offer, a proposal. You are starting to get bored and complacent. You are hopeful, but you are starting to get bored and complacent. This, I'm hearing dead end. It feels like this is a dead end job, a dead end relationship, a dead end situation. Um, this is as far as we can go, or this is as far as I can go at this point within my life or at this point in this circumstance. I am losing hope is what I'm hearing. I'm losing hope. I'm losing faith in you. I'm losing faith in me. I'm losing faith in we. What can we do? What can we accomplish? Are questions I ask myself every single day. Am I doing enough? Am I receiving enough? Do you have enough to give? Do I have enough to give? I'm second guessing that time and time. Lying in my 
my bed, I hear the clock tick, and I think of you caught up in circles. Confusion is nothing new. Yo, that song is coming through too for you guys. There's there's a lot of like internal with this with the with the Pluto death and transition oil, you are caught in a in a circle. You are caught in something that it's really taking the life out of you right now. Like it really is making you kind of give up. It's making you feel like I don't know if it's making you feel like you want to give up. It's making you just want so much more. Like you just want so much more. I'm hearing the stirrings of the heart. I'm I'm also hearing um, the stars are pulling my hair again. The stars are pulling my hair. That that's there's something here that is saying. I'm getting to someone in a campsite and they're looking at the stars knowing that there's so much more out there. It's they're almost in awe, but there's also this feeling of sadness. If you're lost, you can look and you will find me time after time. What is this about? This pile is definitely... It's describing... Spirit is describing to me a feeling first before they descri describe anything else. I just heard um, family is the backbone of our society or family is the bone. Um, there's a word, things that are unspoken, that um, spirit is wanting to speak into the dynamics of the familyhood or the friendshiphood or the sisterhood or the brotherhood. This is about tribe vibes, knowing that there's something, someone, people else out there for you and looking for them. This is big time sense of community and people who have your back regardless. If this is a toxic tribe or toxic family, spirit is wanting to stabilize the, the dynamics between the family and this bond. Um, this is not just you receiving a blessing, but the whole, the collective. If they're blessed, you're blessed. If we're blessed, you're blessed. They, we want to open up the doors to generosity is what it is that I just heard. The streams of generosity. We want to infuse the community with blessing. This is someone who might be getting more involved in more um, community-based work. You might be walking away from a job that has given you a lot of money in order for you to do something that pays you less. You might be taking a pay cut, but it's a part of your, it, it really makes you happy. It, makes, it really brings joy and meaning. And that is redefining prosperity for you. I'm hearing, yep, page of wands. I'm hearing for you guys, you might be opening up a door, a new chapter when it comes to study and counsel. I feel like you are to ask Orc Magic, Queen of Queen of Swords. So we have three queens, queens here, Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of um, Queen of Swords. All the queens are gathered in order to give their insight, give their clarity, give their wisdom. When it comes to purpose, when it comes to direction, and when it comes to security and abundance and prosperity, this is going to, I keep hearing the word plague. Let's say a plague was to, to, to set on your, your community. Would the community survive or would they take a, bait, a big hit? And the community could be those around you. If this is you being off on your own, doing things on your own, this is you manifesting the, the family, the support around you that is going to help you in the event of something, you know, were to happen. I'm not predicting that something is going to happen. I'm just saying that spirit sees it better when we have a stable community around us versus when you're doing things alone. If you've been a loner your entire life, this is you finding 
a group that is very like-minded and very respectful of your boundaries so that the friendship is really evened out. It's a lot of give and take for both, for, for everyone. So what magic do I see for you? I see you guys finding connections. I'm seeing you focusing on chemistry. I'm seeing um, family, generational family magic. I'm also seeing purpose-led work, work that is very purpose-driven and the confidence, the ability to take on this work and to feel confident within yourself that you're doing the right thing and that you're on the right path because you're going to really help the community. You're going to really help heal a whole group of people. And when that happens, anything can happen. Um, for you, I'm seeing moonstone. I'm seeing selenite. I'm seeing crystal quartz. I'm seeing emeralds. Um, Ruby. I'm seeing a petition paper being written and put in the backyard or putting a, put in a plant. Basil. Specifically basil. Watering this plant helps to water the community, it helps to water the friendship circle, it helps to water the family, it brings really good luck when it comes to those things. It has a lot to do with earth, earth, earth and planting. Yeah. Are there any, oh my goodness, you guys, almost, almost like, is there anything else? Um, and you have your oracle cards here. What do we have? Let's see. Unfinished Symphony. I don't know. Imagine. Maybe some of you guys are actually writing. You know what I can sense? This feels like this chapter it just feels like our like i don't feel like you're doing this like in my life this feels like in our life has not closed there are things that unspoken things there are yeah unspoken things that need to be said un unfinished business that needs to be closed things that need to be drawn into life or drawn like you're literally putting out that you're collaborating in order to create something that is your image of a greater world or a greater family or a greater family like sisterhood or brotherhood or fraternity or sorority like it's how you envision the a better place to be to live to show up and having the people around you that are on the same wavelength as you so you guys are all contributing in to that and it's funny that i'm saying sorority because sororities and fraternities because they are there, of course, for the social engagement, for the sisterhood and brotherhood, but they also show up and do service to the communities. Like, that's another thing that they're defined, defined for. So I'm seeing you guys finding, like, similar like-minded individuals that are all on the same wavelength in order to give, to carry information, resources, passion projects, and exciting things and ventures that are going to benefit the greater good, the whole Okay, Lady of the Lake, we have absolute truth, courage, self-respect, and responsibility. This is a sense of knowing this, that you have so much more that you want to contribute, that you want to give, and that and where that where the areas of your life that you want to show up at for others. Restriction is, I really feel like this is you not being separated from the greater whole, but becoming more connected to it, and then you are going to be the key component to helping others have bigger blessings and connection in their life. It's this really big time give and take. Wow. We also have physical health, grounding, and foundations. Exactly. This is going to be this firm foundation that, is, that you're creating. 
that is going to be stable regardless of anything that could ever happen. You are going to be sound within yourself and sound within the community and sound within the family environment based upon the magic and the intentions that you are. It's very like prosperous, very much prosperity, the things that you're speaking over your life right now. We also have expansion, courage, success, and healing. Exactly. All of these things are things that are laid at your feet right now that we want you to call in. Not only for yourself, but for the community. And it's going to be the one person who stands up and says, I have this greater vision that expands further than where we've ever taken this before. I'm going to pick up where you left off. I'm going to carry it forward and I'm going to heal myself, heal us and heal the projects or heal this area within our life or heal, heal this aspect because they need attention too and they need help too. And it makes a whole community successful. It makes a whole band of people just solid. I hope this message resonates. That's a very specific message. I did not could not have seen that coming. All right. That is if you chose the Pluto Death Transition Oil. Um, yeah. So I hope this message makes sense and it resonates. And I want to invite you to subscribe to this YouTube channel because we're playing more videos where this came from. And let's move on to the Egyptian Ancestor Oil. Hello again, beautiful soul. If you chose the Ancestor Egyptian Oil or Egyptian Ancestor Oil, this is your reading. Spirit is telling me right now to pause and reflect. Ho! Oh, four swords. <laughs> Yo, and spirit speaks. Okay, I will. What are you showing me, spirit? This is for those that chose the Egyptian ancestor oil. What are you showing me? First of all, they're taking me to the beach. They're taking me to the beach to focus on the energy of the waves. They're saying, lift your head up and look at the greater, the greater picture of things. There's more to this than just your reality. There's more to this than just your perception of this world. There's more there's more. If you're ready to move forward, we will carry you forward. If you need to take time, we will give you peace. If we need if you need to rest, we will give you rest. If we will give you sleep. You are part of the greater collective whole. Your needs, wants, and desires are important to us. We have plenty of offerings that we wish to give to you. Do not feel abandoned. Do not fear that we have abandoned. There is plenty. There is plenty where you see that there is none. Wow. Things are being made fruitful for you. Things are being made fruitful for you. You have not been abandoned in this pursuit. You have not been abandoned. This pursuit has not been abandoned. It has not been abandoned by us. You might have abandoned it. You might have abandoned it, but it has not been abandoned by spirit. Watch the waves come in and come in and go out. This is the natural ebb and flow of life. You are part of the collective. Do not think that you are not a part of the collective. You are a part of the greater whole. Things have to be carried out. Things have to, will be carried in. That is a part of the earth. That is a part of energy. That is the way that energy moves. You are a part of the whole. There have been no barriers to love. Everything has been established for your best, okay, best interest. Everything has been established for your best interest. It has not been in vain, they say, very strong. It has not been in vain. 
we have fought for we have fought hard for you we still fight hard for you will you trust us we are looking for you we look for you we look for you we look for you every day we look for you every day we show up we look for you we look for you Do not abandon hope. Things are not what they seem. It is better. It is better where you are going. It is better where you are being led. Can you hear us? Look, they're turning or turning the head to listen because there's voices here. There is more than one of us. We are working on your behalf. You do not have to sacrifice your purpose. It is not in vain. You do not have to sacrifice for a purpose. You do not have to sacrifice this purpose, something like that. I'm watching <clears throat> the seagulls. They're saying that the seagulls act as messengers, but they're present. They're very present. They stay present. They're not looking for anything, but they deliver messages. Spirit wants this pile to have rest. Recumbent is the word. Recumbent. They want you to be to recline. They want you to relax. Something about set forth okay you have been set forth you have been released you have been released you have been set forth this is a ship that is you're riding this ship um it's kind of like a cruise ship but it's not because it's you're being taken from one from one thing to the next it's not a cycle in your life because the cycle has already been closed. You're already in a new cycle. You're not coming into a new cycle. You're in the middle of it. Something is incoming here to this pile. Something is coming in. In the meantime, they're saying, we do not want you to be without. Um, this pile needs to be eating, drinking water, resting, and focusing on the root. Focusing on the root chakra, focusing on the home, focusing on the dressings. Something about dressings. Let's say if you have a wound or something that you're hurt, you're dressing that area every day. You're making sure that you're cleaning that area out and that you're putting creams on it and wrapping it up every single day. Every single day, the wound has to be tended to tend to the dressing you're going to need some time you're going to want plenty of time spirit is still speaking to me you're going to want plenty of time in order to heal and to address the wounded area meanwhile while you are resting while you are recumbent we are carrying you forward there is something immense on the horizon and it is going to be spirit speak to us on that i'm not going to put any it's what you're looking for you've been on this island like cast away just waiting just waiting and feeling like life is passing you by and just stuck in survival mode you haven't been able to trust us that we are taking you out of survival mode because all you know is survival nothing has been taken from you it has all been to play to your own advantage you missed the worst of it. We pulled you out of the worst of it. That was for your very good. And yes, you had to work on your survival, but it was for your own protection. Do you trust us when we tell you that? We would never do anything to hurt you. Not intentionally. Do you see how much you've grown? They're so soft with you right now. They say, do you see how much you've grown, sweetheart? Like, that's how they're talking. 
Focus on the root. You are so sweet in our eyes. You're our angel. They're so sweet with you. You haven't been forgotten. It's like Christmas time. Christmas is coming, honey. Like, you're going to have everything. We're working so hard to get you everything on your list. <laughs> like, it's so cute how spirit is coming through. It really is cute, you guys. You have nothing to worry about. <laughs> this pile is nothing to worry about. The energy is so sweet. Ace of Pentacles, honey, this is a gift. Don't worry. Don't worry. You won't have to fight anymore. You do not have to fight anymore. <laughs> For this pile, I definitely see healing waters, candles. I'm seeing a lot of bath soaks. Um, I'm seeing a lot of root, root food, cathartic healing. Yeah, the moon card and the five of pentacles. You would never know. You would never know. That's a good thing. Sometimes it's good to not participate. It's good to not be in everything. It's good to be where you were. As crazy and as tough as it was, it was better than how it could have been is a, a really strong message here that's not to, to, to diminish what you've gone through or how hard or lonely or isolating or tough or spiritually exhausting and depleting it has been and empty or barren it's not to take that away from you but it there's a lot of growth that occurred while you were in the absent while you were left on the island believe me there was what may, may seem like you're not missing out on anything because anything that would have ripened too soon would have rotten. And yep, Ten of Pentacles is here. What we are giving you now is a tree. There are people who ask for the fruit because they want instant gratification. And we've been tending for this for we've been tending for you this tree or you've been tending this tree and you are going to not just gain the fruit you're going to get the tree and the fruit that comes from that tree and that is going to be placed in your house that's going to be placed in your backyard so not only this is because we want and see so much more for you you're going to you're being given the tree not just the fruit that comes from the tree and that tree and that fruit has seeds that will act as things sprinkled for generations. This is also, Three of Cups is like recipes. It's you coming together with family and friends and people around you to celebrate, to cook, to eat, to be filled, to be poured into. New life, new generations, new things being born that, are, that will suffice, that will feel good. And you can look back and tell the story and tell the tale of your strength and your resilience by all means, King of Swords. You can tell the tale of your resilience, but that it, it, it doesn't end there. So now we speak healing over you. We speak truth over you. We speak mental respite over you and calmness and peace. While you are the king, the queen, resting at her throne, resting in her bed. As things around you transform, literally four of wands, the home environment. It's so secure, it's so stable, and it's home. You finally found your home. You finally found the place that you have belonged, and that's what is undergoing right now. That is what is underway. Do you trust? Four of wands, this card, this pile, or those who chose the Egyptian, Egyptian ancestor oil. I see you with healing waters. I'm also, the word remote viewing is coming through. Some of you guys are going to be doing some remote viewing or studying it. I'm also seeing philosophical studies while you rest. You're exploring different ancient civilizations. It's so interesting. Met Mesopotamia just came through. Wow, okay. Documentaries on that. Nature documentaries while you're resting spiritual books, Kabbalah, interesting. Ancient histories, storytelling. My camera's starting to flash, so let's go ahead and look into it. To be fair, oh my God, orphaned. 
this is how you've been feeling. You've been feeling like it hasn't been fair, that you have been, but you've been pulled out of a, a situation that would not have been good to you and placed in a situation that is going to be prosperous and plentiful for you. What cards do we have here? Refuge, literally my loves, refuge, a place for you to restore your energy. We have love, wild rose fairy. So this has everything to do with your heart's truest desires, intimacy, connection. We have enlightenment here at the temple, the forest temple. Again, this is where you go for enlightenment, for awareness, for higher perception, and to connect with the divine. And also we have purity, unicorn. You have pure intentions, good intentions, and life everlasting. This is something that's going to give to you, give to you, give to you. Look, this is the truth, the hawk, and letting go. So let go of the storytelling of the past, and let's, we're moving forward into the future. We'll tell the truth of it, but we're looking to the signs right now that better things are on the way and better things are on the horizon. So what I see for you is I see this pile using magic around restorative. So spa exercises, Epsom salts, um, bath soaks, energy healing soaks, doing cathartic cleansing, sleeping, prophetic work, and healing fixed candles. Candles that are there to fix, to heal. Chamomile, lavender, rose, um, life everlasting. I'm missing something. St. John's wort. I'm missing something. Shoot. In my head, I'm thinking about it. Totally forgetting. I'll put it down in the, in the comments for you. I hope this message resonates and I want to invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. If you need me, you can meet me at bahadilife.com. I'll be working in the apothecary per usual. I'm sending you guys all of my love. Bye.